Hi everyone, it's Joanne Gabriel and I'm back with another prophetic word for the body of Christ. Now this one is very, very important because it's pertaining to the upcoming U.S. elections, okay? So this prophecy is concerning Kamala Harris, Trump, and Obama. So guys, on August 3rd, 2024, the Lord actually gave me a dream where I was talking to Obama, okay? So please listen up. The title of this prophecy is called Beauty and the Beast. So I'm going to go ahead and share my dream with you guys. I'm also going to be looking at my notes because I do not want to forget anything. Okay, so in this dream, I was actually on a college campus and I was at a conference room, right? I don't know what university, but I was in a conference room and there was an event going on. It was like a voter registration type of event. That's just what I felt in my spirit. And people were talking about who they're going to vote for and, you know, all these political things. Now, this is my first ever political type of dream. I don't watch the news. I don't follow politics. Like, I don't care about any of that. So this dream was just very different from anything I've ever had, right? So like I said, I'm in this big conference room and I'm walking around the voter registration event, right? I end up walking up to a table and I see Barack Obama, okay? So Obama was wearing a white button down shirt with his sleeves rolled up to his elbows and he had on dark blue pants, okay? So like, I guess like his signature look, right? And he was actually talking to a young man. I understood that this man was in his late 20s, he was Caucasian and he had a political blog or podcast. So him and Obama were talking at this table. So as I was walking up to this table, I was very surprised to see Obama there. But then in my spirit, I got very irritated, okay? So as I was walking up to the table, Obama actually stood up and he was very tall. I know he's tall in real life, but in this dream, like I really had to bend my head and look at him, okay? So he was extremely tall. And yes, he was wearing the white, you know, button down dark pants and he was smiling and very energetic. So I walk up to him and I say, what can you tell us about the upcoming beast system? Once I asked him that question, his whole demeanor changed. He got very guarded and very serious. And then he responded to me saying, I do not know what you're referring to. But when he gave me that response, I was very annoyed in the dream because I knew that he knew what I was talking about. You get what I'm saying? So I was just like, bro, like you literally know what I'm asking you. So then he said, you know, I don't know what you're referring to when I asked him about the beast system. So then I responded and I said, but you're the beast of revelation. So tell us what you plan to do in this system. When I said that, he got visibly uncomfortable and very angry. So yeah, Obama started ignoring me and then he continued his conversation with this journalist, okay? Now, I was just standing there observing their conversation, right? And this man, this uh, journalist was actually annoyed because he was expecting to get like a one-on-one -on -one private interview with Obama, but it was taking place publicly, right? We're at, in this big conference room. A lot of people are walking around like it's a big event and he's over here trying to interview Obama, right? So then he asked Obama, you know, can we reschedule? You know, I just wish I, we could have like more one-on-one -on -one time. And then Obama was very rude to him and he basically just told him, no, like we're doing this now or never. <laughs> So then I walk away from the table and I'm moving to another side of the room. As I'm walking around, I'm realizing that everyone's wearing blue t-shirts. I wasn't wearing one, Obama wasn't wearing one, and the journalist wasn't, but everybody else in that room was wearing blue t-shirts. This is very important, okay? So I end up walking to another side of the room and um, people are debating you know, who they're gonna vote for basically. I get irritated because I hear people saying, oh, I'm voting for Kamala, I'm voting for this, I'm voting for that. And in my spirit, I got annoyed because I'm like, bro, why are people so caught up on who they're voting for? They're not looking at the bigger picture. So I, you know, actually stormed into the group of people that were discussing, you know, their candidate, right? And I yelled, if you're voting for Kamala, it's because you want to remain comfortable in your sin. Okay, so I was very bold. And I said that in the middle of the crowd. And then my eyes, like, it was almost like after I said that, my eyes zoomed in on all the women in the crowd that were pregnant. I had the understanding that some of them were, you know, baby mamas, some of them were just pregnant, but my eyes zoomed in, you know, on, on all these different women in the room. After, you know, I give that bold statement, I'm storming off to basically leave the conference room because I was so annoyed. And I could hear people, you know, gossiping about me and they're like, I can't believe she said that, like, she's so crazy, like, you know, the usual, right? I experienced that in the natural. So that's what people were saying as I was storming off. But as I was leaving the conference room, that's when I could see what was written on everybody's shirts. Okay, so remember, everyone had on blue shirts. And as I was walking out of the conference room, I saw that 
Some of the shirts said Trump and some of the shirts said Kamala. So the blue shirts said Trump or Kamala in white bold letters. And as I was walking out, I just thought in my head, you know, this election is such a small piece to the bigger picture or this bigger agenda. So that's when I woke up guys. So this was a very detailed dream, you know, very vivid. I just, I remember everything that happened. Okay. So I woke up from this dream and then the Lord, you know, I spent time with him and he finally gave me the interpretation of the dream. This might be a two part video because there's a lot to touch on. Okay. So the first thing to talk about was the whole conversation and interaction between Obama and the young man. So the Holy Spirit revealed to me that this young man was actually a journalist and the Holy Spirit said this, the journalist represents how the news channels lie and manipulate the truth. They hold the truth in private. They want the truth in private, right? But then they paint a different picture in the media, in the public eye, okay? So again, the fact that I saw Obama and this journalist having this conversation in public actually just reveals that the truth is in plain sight. If we just actually see what's going on, guys, with the spirit, the truth is in plain sight. And the Holy Spirit told me, Joanne, Obama has been in the White House this entire time and America needs to wake up. All right, so remember how I said that in the dream, Obama was super tall. Like I literally had to crack my neck to look at him, okay? The Holy Spirit revealed to me that him being super tall in the dream represents his power, intimidation, pride, and inevitable rulership, okay? So the Holy Spirit told me Obama will come back to power. So I was like, how is this possible? You know, Obama already served two terms. He's already been president, right? And then the Holy Spirit reminded me of what I said in that dream. When I approached Obama, right? The second thing I said was, but you're the beast of revelation. So the Holy Spirit revealed to me that Obama is gonna come back into power and Obama is gonna be the beast, okay? He's the beast in Revelation 13. Now I know this is gonna shake up the black community, but we need to do better. You guys need to stop thinking about race and color and gender, and you need to be praying and asking God to show you the truth in the spirit, because this is the truth. Obama is the beast of Revelation 13, right? So take it back to God, but this is what it is, right? Now, the next thing to talk about is the fact that everybody in the dream, right, in the conference room was wearing blue t-shirts, right? And the shirts either said Kamala or Trump. Now, the Holy Spirit told me that the blue shirts symbolize the fact that no matter who you vote for, the new world order is coming through the Democratic Party. Now, who's responsible for the new world order? The beast. Okay, so the Holy Spirit revealed to me, right? that the new world order is gonna be ushered in through the Democratic Party. And again, guys, if you know me personally, you know, I don't follow politics, I don't care about politics. So that's how you know this dream is from the Lord, okay? So the Democratic Party is gonna be responsible for ushering in the beast system. So now I'm gonna explain why the title of this prophecy is called Beauty and the Beast. As we can see now, Kamala Harris is the princess, she's the beauty, of the Democratic Party. The Holy Spirit showed me that Kamala is gonna be the Democratic nominee, right? And then Kamala Harris will be responsible for ushering in the new world order. Go to part two. Okay guys, welcome back to part two. The last thing I said in part one was the fact that, you know, Kamala is the beauty in this prophecy and Obama is the beast. Okay, so this is why this prophecy is called Beauty and the Beast. Kamala Harris will be responsible for ushering in the new world order. Remember in the dream, everybody was wearing blue t-shirts, okay? And blue represents the Democratic Party. So this is how the Holy Spirit revealed to me that the Democratic Party will be responsible for ushering in the new world order and the beast system. So guys, remember in the dream, I gave a very bold statement, right? <laughs> and I said that if you're voting for Kamala Harris, you're basically supporting sin, right? So this is what the Holy Spirit told me. People should not vote for Kamala because her policies support sin, especially in the area of reproductive health. She is aligned with Satan and the beast, okay? So this is why in the dream, after I said that, my eyes zoomed in on all the pregnant women because whatever policy she's gonna make, it's gonna ruin reproductive health. Now, like I said, in the dream, most of the time I was very annoyed and irritated, right? So the Holy Spirit wants me to say this. If you are supporting or backing Kamala Harris, you need to repent. You need to repent for idolatry of race and gender, okay? 
God doesn't care about race or gender. He only cares about his agenda. This is what the Holy Spirit said. The black community is full of fools, okay? And especially Gen Z. This is why the conference room was on a college campus. The Holy Spirit told me that in the dream. So basically, guys, we need to do better. You know, the black community, all we care about is race. Oh, she's going to be the first black president. It's going to be this. It's going to be fire. And then she had Megan the Stallion twerking on, on the stage. Like, guys, like, what are we doing? So the Holy Spirit is saying, right, you guys need to listen. If you decide to vote for this woman, you're voting a woman into office that will trigger World War III. <laughs> and she will also bring in the beast system. Okay, so this is the truth. This is what's going on in the spiritual realm. Those that have ears to hear, let them hear. Okay, so this is what the Holy Spirit has revealed to me. Now, I also have to give a rebuke to, what is it called? Alpha, Alpha Kappa Alpha, the AKAs. You guys need to repent and denounce. You guys are blinded by idolatry of your organization. And now all of D9, you guys are bringing money together to support this woman, right? Who is working with the enemy, right? And apparently you guys are Christian organizations. So let's wake up. You guys need to repent and denounce. And I'm telling you now, if you decide to give and support and endorse Kamala Harris, judgment is coming for you. So D9 is demonic. And now we can all see it very clearly. They're funding a Jezebelic system. They're funding a demonic agenda, the beast. So guys, I'm gonna make this very clear, okay? The title of this prophecy is called Beauty and the Beast. Kamala is the beauty and Obama is the beast. If you decide to vote and support this woman, I'm telling you now, you're ushering in the new world order. You're ushering in the beast system. You're triggering, you're helping to trigger the start of World War III. I cannot make this up. This is the word of the Lord. Thus saith the Lord. If you have given money, endorsed, made t-shirts, made hats, supported this woman in any way, you need to repent today. You need to repent. I'm telling you now, if you still decide to go vote for her, when the Russians and the Chinese invade the U.S., you'll be the first one to go. I'm telling you now, judgment will meet you at your house. So guys, listen to the word of the Lord. If you want to trigger World War III, go vote for her. By all, all means, go do it. Again, guys, just like I thought in the dream, this election is a part of a big, agenda a bigger picture okay so if you're so focused on trump kamala this that just know obama is waiting <laughs> he's waiting for his time to shine to arise as the beast and usher in the beast system okay so guys listen to the word of the lord you need to send this out we need to repent we need to pray for america and this is also a rebuke to the body of christ you guys need to pray for discernment i don't know what's going on it's very sad because there's a false prophet she's over here yelling oh kamala's a witch kamala's a witch guys please listen to the word of the lord don't listen to these false prophets they're just saying anything so it can stick meanwhile the holy spirit has now revealed that she is a part of the beast system so she's not a witch she's working for the enemy right but she's not a witch so please stop listening to these false prophets giving you lies and just saying things just to blow up their platform i'm telling you now if you still decide to go listen to these false prophets Judgment is coming for you. Thus saith the Lord. If you still decide to follow this woman, judgment is coming for you. So guys, listen to the word of the Lord. This is so serious. This is the future of this nation at stake. So guys, pray and ask the Holy Spirit to show you the truth. You need to share this with your pastors. Share this with other prophets, guys. I feel the Holy Spirit. We need to pray for America. We need to pray and stop the agenda of the beast. We need to rise up, rise up intercessors. The intercessors need to rise up in this hour in the name of Jesus.